bitch won't come, baby. I had the longest day in my life. Oh, heaven, I wanna take flight. Take flight. Almost took my last breath that night. Body and face is turning pale white. My name is Igor Yustemchuk, and I come from Rovno, Ukraine. And I immigrated to America with my family when I was six months old. It all started when my older brothers brought like rap music. They got me into it, I got hooked. They used to listen to like gangster rap, 50 Cent, Lil Wayne, Eminem. My interest in rap just grew and I started writing rhymes in middle school. Just music was just so such a big part of my life. After high school, it was like 2008, I got sick, got cardiomyopathy, I got health problems, had to go to the doctor and my life totally changed. Ever since then, I repented of my sins and gave my life to God and I became baptized and became born again. My desires changed also, like when people say they listen to rap music, you always get this bad influence, like they always talk about guns, drugs, and you know, sex and violence. But I didn't want none of the part of that. That stuff disgusted me now. I just want to talk about good things, you know. I started to write Christian rap, songs about God, songs about Jesus, and 2008, was collecting a lot of water in my body. I decided to go to the hospital. They did an x-ray of my heart, and they found out my heart was twice as big as normal. They tried to give me medications, try to shrink it, but nothing would change. I took out my thyroid because they thought it was overactive, but it did not shrink the heart. So the next option they told me was the best for me was get an LVAD machine, which is a left ventricular assist device, and it's like standing right next to the heart. It's like a fist-sized motor. Basically, it takes the pressure off and the workload off the heart. So I wore that for a year and a half, and there was like two batteries attached to my side. That did not work, unfortunately, but it was terrible living with it. And my mom, God bless her soul, she always was there for me, cleaning me up. And I don't know where I'd be without her. For a year and a half, we tried to make it shrink, but it didn't happen. And some guy passed away in Nebraska in a car accident. And they called me October 27, 2013 to get a heart transplant. If you want it, you can get it. I decided that would be the best option. And ever since then, my life has been getting better and better. Started working again, you know. I work part-time and it's like five, six hours a day. I just started doing music in the, my other free time because I just feel like it's something I want to do, you know? And it feels like God's calling me to do it. My funds are limited at the same time, you know? I just have a real passion for music. Not many people have been through what I have been through, but at the same time, you know, it's always out there people that are struggling and going through problems. And maybe my music's will be like a positive light to them and show them that whatever you're going through, you know, God can help you go through it. God just gave me that passion to channel that energy through the paper and just put it on the microphone and people respond well on the internet for me. And I've been being encouraged, people sending me messages saying, thank you for your music. I'm like, it wasn't me, you know. God's just using me, I'm just an instrument. I've been doing music for 10 years now, amateur-wise, out of my mama's basement. I would like to record it in a professional studio. So if you would like me to continue my musical endeavor and help me on this journey, that would be very appreciative. Well, thank you for spending the time to watch this video. I appreciate it. And even if you cannot support me financially, you can always support me spiritually. Please keep me in your prayers. I thank you all and may God bless you. And now for our feature presentation. Can you handle that? Hold up, push on. Hey, can you handle that? Do that with on. Hey, can you handle that? Hold that rejection on. Hey, can you handle that? Do that with on. Hey, can you handle that? Hold that failure on. Hey, can you handle that? Are you a glass half full person? Are you an optimist? Hey. You see the glass half empty? Are you a pessimist? Hey. Maybe see things as they really are, as a realist. Hey. I'm a new creature in Christ. 
Yo meat is Jurassic For I die what I know About God I will pass it Now when you look at me When I'm in my casket Now I